I'm Aceid, and this is episode 4 of World Building Wednesdays, where I waffle on about some of my fictional worlds while filling in some artwork. This time, I'm filling out a Dwarven infantry carrier from the Conic Disaster Zone series, and try my hand at a blueprint style of image. This vehicle is heavily based on the British Universal Carrier from the World War II era, and in universe was built by Thompson and Sons for the Dwarven League's Mechanized Infantry Division. World War I hasn't happened in this universe yet, so there hasn't been much of a push for armoured vehicles like tanks. However, the Dwarves of Ireland have been experimenting with mechanised infantry as a way to compensate for their shorter stature and generally shorter range weaponry. Dwarves in this universe tend to be around 4 to 5 foot tall, though there are exceptions, and they use submachine guns extensively. So, I see the dwarves of this series as breaking ground in this field. The standard carrier will transport 6 to 8 Dwarven infantry into battle, with the machine gun to provide covering fire. However, there are other variants available. One type carries a light mortar, similar to the German Minenwerfer of this era, and is used primarily for indirect fire support or smoke screens. There is also an experimental version with the Davis gun, a precursor to more modern recoilless rifles like the Carl Gustav of our world. These work by ejecting a countermass out the back of the cannon to counter recoil, as per Newton's first law of motion. This means that recoilless rifles are lighter and more portable than conventional artillery, albeit with less range because they lose some projectile velocity. The real-life Davis gun was developed just prior to World War I, and was used experimentally as an anti-submarine and anti-zeppelin weapon on flying boats. The dwarves use it for direct fire on enemy EU machine gun nests and possibly trains, though it seemed more as a novelty than a serious piece of field artillery by their contemporaries. These carriers have limited armour, just enough to stop splinters or smaller bullets. This being the early days of mechanized warfare, they're also not particularly reliable or fast, but it beats walking. I had originally thought of turning the French saint chamin tank of World War I into an APC, but decided it was just too big and cumbersome. Something like the Universal Carrier is simply a more practical idea for what the dwarves need. Something that can carry troops and supplies across boggy ground and down narrow country roads. The fact that the Brits used it for just about everything from artillery tractors to infantry transport and recon shows how useful it really was.
that's probably it for this video. I'm not sure that the blueprint style really works, but it's the first time I've tried this sort of thing. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Slong file.